Okay, let's take a look at the swarm mode fleet management capabilities of Docker Cloud. What I think we'll do is we'll see how Docker Cloud can link into cloud providers and deploy brand new swarms. Then we'll see how we can take existing swarms and bring them into Docker Cloud, a kind of bring your own swarm. Along the way, we'll see how easy it is to connect to and manage these swarms, and we'll finish up looking at some pretty cool integrations with Docker for Mac and Docker for Windows. So here we are in the Docker Cloud UI. And if you've not done this before, you're going to need to flip into swarm mode here. But don't worry, it's not a one-time all-or-nothing big switch. You can flip back and forth as much as you want. And flipping back out of swarm mode doesn't destroy your swarms or anything like that. But once we're in, we want swarms up here, and we're totally empty right now, no swarms. Okay, well, you can bring your own, but I think this time we're going to create a new one. Now, we can see it's going to get created in this namespace here. This is my Docker ID that I'm logged into Docker Cloud with. And as well, it can be an organization you belong to or anything like that. I'm going to call this one Swarm New. I'll go with AWS here. Now, if this is the first time you're doing this in AWS, it's going to give you a link to a page to add some IAM stuff before it'll work. But it's simple enough stuff. Well, then we just tell it what we want the Swarm to look like. So I'll put it in EU West 1. I only want two workers. I'm happy with these instance sizes. And we'll use this key. Now, this is all just regular Swarm stuff. But in the background, what it's going to do is it's going to go and talk to AWS using the AWS APIs. And it's going to create all the instances and the likes. Then when it's done with that, it'll configure them into this five node Swarm that we're defining. And that's it, deploying. Now, it'll take a minute or two, right? Behind the scenes, it's building a cloud formation stack and then building the Swarm. All right, that's it, deployed. And if we click it right, we can then put this in on a Linux-based Docker client to manage this Swarm. Okay, so this is a standalone Docker client. So let's see it in action. We'll give it a minute or two to pull down the Docker Cloud client and spin up a container. Okay, so it wants my Docker ID. Okay, right, so if we now run this command, all right, and now if we do a docker node ls, okay, see how it's talking to our five node swarm that we just created. So we spun up a new swarm, and now we're connected to it from a docker client based somewhere else. Cool, but what about bringing existing swarms under Docker Cloud's fleet management? All right, well, this time we go bring your own swarm. Grab this command, jump over to a manager node on an existing swarm. Okay, Docker ID again. Give it a name. We'll call this one BYO. Great. Well, we can take this command again and run it on a Docker client somewhere else like we just did last time. And it'll all work. We'll be able to manage it. And if we come back to Docker Cloud here, Right, see how it's registered now in Docker Cloud? And we can see both of them there. So we've seen how we can use Docker Cloud to create and manage new swarms as well as existing ones. And we've seen how we can manage them from Docker clients pretty much anywhere. But if you're running Docker for Windows or Docker for Mac, and this is currently only available in beta versions, but these have native integrations for fleet management and other features. So if we jump over to my Mac here, See how under Docker for Mac, well, we want this Swarms option here. And these are our two Swarms that we registered. I think we'll have this one first. And check it out, we're in. Right, there's our five nodes again. What about if we want the other one, though? Okay, we get another window. And this one's only got two nodes. So that's it. Creating and managing fleets of swarms with Docker Cloud, plus native integrations with Docker for Windows and Docker for Mac. For more information, come and visit us at cloud.docker.com.